Hi guys, Jeremy here from School of Wok. I'm here today at Tottenham Hotspur's training ground for AIA's In Kitchen Walkout. Today we've got Christian Eriksen versus Kieran Trippier to take on our control challenge. We're going to throw some ingredients at them and see if they can guess what those ingredients are, what their health benefits are and what I'm actually going to cook for them. Whilst Kieran's showing off his skills, Maria, Tottenham Hotspur's nutritionist, is going to talk us through all the health benefits of the ingredients for the dumplings. Here we well, this go. Guy, let's go. Whoa, what have Ooh. you got? That's not bad. What have you got there? What is it? What is it? Come on, it's a ginger. I don't have that. You don't have, you never no. had ginger. Do you like sweet stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe ginger cake or something like that. Starting off now. Any cake? No, no, ginger cake. <laughs> Health benefits. Oh, really high amounts of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Boost immune system also. Yeah. All right. Next up, guys. Next up, what have we got? Yeah. Hey! Hey! hey. No. <laughs> 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 What have you What's got there? This? I think it's uh, kale, I think it's. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> kale has more vitamin K. Okay. More folate. Okay, yeah. And really high in calcium. Yeah, yeah. And iron. Yeah. Also nice. Uh, actually, we put it in the dumplings because it's brilliant for texture and flavour. What's next? Yeah. Next up. Wait. Oh. oh. Serious oh, ribs. Oh. Have you seen this before? No. I say, say I'm, I'm never in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm never in the kitchen. <laughs> this is what we call pak choy. Classic Chinese vegetable. Yeah, quite similar, I guess, properties to kale. Yeah, really it? not. Yeah. Really similar calories, no carbohydrates, high in fiber, high in folates, yep. high in potassium also. Right, okay. And also really nice as a superfood. Why not? Both. We can consider superfood. And yourself, you use this or you we eat do, this? Yeah, yeah. Bar restaurants, don't know. Scandinavian food. Yeah. What's, the, what's the Scandinavian, yeah, classic Scandinavian dish? What's that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the cook or your missus? She's definitely the cook at home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready? It is. Nice, nice. yes. Nice. Wow. Laces, that's what I got taught. Okay, yeah, what, yeah. what does it smell like? It smells really nice. Yeah. Can you guess what it is? Come on. She mentioned, she mentioned it before. She mentioned it before. She mentioned it before. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. That's tofu. Tofu is essentially like a fermented soybean, Chinese cheese almost. It's amazing because it's the food from vegan source with more protein. So right. Yeah. It's also high in calcium, you, yeah. low in, in carbohydrates, low okay. in, in calories. So right, yeah. good, good source of protein. Also right. keeps your muscle mass. Um, yeah. we'll, try it. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. She's got me now, hasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's next. Yeah. Right, so these are some of the core ingredients that make up your uh, pak choy and kale dumplings. I'm going to cook them up. Uh, you guys hungry? Well, <laughs> always, always hungry. Always hungry. <laughs> you can chop this up either by hand or straight through with a food processor. And season it with some salt, sugar, a pinch of pepper, some sesame oil. Give that a good mix through. Step two, onto the folding. Take about a teaspoon of your filling and then just dot a little water around the edge of your pastry. Pick that up and squeeze that together. So when you pull the sides up, you've got these nice little cat ears. Sit it on your tips of your fingers and just one dab of water overlap and squeeze those ears together. Nice, simple dumpling fold. Step three, boil your dumplings. You're gonna bring your water to a boil, straight in. So once your dumplings are floating at the top, they're ready. Nice, simple, healthy cooking. Step four, make up your dipping sauce. Got some light soy sauce, some vegetarian stir fry sauce, just a dash of water, to thin that out. That'll just add a nice savoury flavour to the dumplings. Time to show the guys. Right guys, I've got your steaming hot wow, dumplings that's here. And that's a light soy and uh, black vinegar sauce, or dipping sauce. Nice. Let's test your chopsticks. No, ladies first. <laughs> ladies first. Oh, ladies. Everyone's nice embarrassed, let's go first. for it. Here you go. Okay, ladies. <laughs> Can you taste the ginger? No. Not, Not really little. No. It's just there to add a sort of backing flavour, but that balance of flavour is important. Um, but the texture of the veg, you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, it's light, it's healthy. There's a very little bit of pastry there, but most of it is 
packing as much of that veg into into your dish as possible. In a funny also way. Yeah, exactly. For it's meat fun. also yeah. works really good. It's a family dish, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's a family dish. We've substituted pork mince for the firm tofu, soaking in flavour just as the pork would do. Uh, I guess slightly healthier. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll definitely nice have it again. Thing. I'll definitely have it again. You'd have it again? Yeah, yeah, I'll have it again. Score. <laughs> <laughs>